Welcome to Creative World viewers in this video i will solve exercise problem number 36 while solving this problem we will be using electrical power formula which is the product of voltage and current and telegen's theorem according to telegen's theorem the power supplied to a network is always equal to power consumed by the elements of that network and if we add these two powers their result will be zero we also will be using passive sign convention theory according to this theory the elements with the negative power will be considered as power supplier and the elements with positive power will be considered as power absorber first read the scenario determine the power absorbed by element 1 in figure 1.36 without wasting time let's proceed towards the solution This is figure 1.36 and we have to calculate power of element 1. If we see here the voltage across element 1 is given but the current through this is not given. First we have to calculate the value of Ix and if we know Ix we can calculate the power of this element 1. So for the calculation of Ix we will use telegen's theorem. and for the use of telegen's theorem we should have the power of all these elements along with the identification of absorbed and supplied powers start calculating power from element 1 voltage across this element 1 is 12 volt and current through it is ix current is entering from positive terminal and leaving from negative terminal so this current will be taken with positive sign power of element 1 will be 12 ix now move towards the element 2 voltage across element 2 is 8 volt and current through it is given to ampere this current is taken with negative sign because the current is entering from negative terminal power of element 2 is minus 16 watt and this power is being supplied in case of element 1 the power is being absorbed because of positive sign Now calculate the power of element 3 voltage across it is 16 volt and current through it is 2 ampere in this case current is entering from negative terminal and leaving from positive terminal so this current is also taken with negative sign and the power of element 3 is 16 multiplied by minus 2 which is minus 32 watt this power is also being supplied through element 3 because of this minus sign Now calculate the power of sources. First is voltage source. Voltage source have 36 volt across it and current through it is Ix. So the power of this element will be 36 multiplied by minus Ix and this minus is because the current is entering from negative terminal of this element. The power of voltage source will be minus 36 Ix watt and this power is being supplied through this element because of this minus sign proceed towards the last element of this network which is current controlled current source the power of current controlled current source is the product of voltage across it 24 volt and current through it 2 ix in this case the current is taken positive because the current is entering from positive terminal of this source the power of current controlled current source will be 48 ix watt and this power is being absorbed through this element because of positive sign with power now we will use telegen's theorem according to telegen's theorem if we sum all supplied power to a network and all consumed power in a network their result will be zero and at this stage we have the details of supplied and consumed powers of this network so we can place all the supplied and consumed powers in this equation and try to find out the value of ix rearrange this equation and separate the variables from constants and solve this equation to find the value of ix which is 2 ampere now we have the value of ix voltage across this element is also we can calculate the power of element 1 power of element 1 is the product between voltage and current voltage across it is 12 volt and current ix that is 2 ampere so the power is 24 watt and this power is being consumed by element 1 because of this positive sign 
दिस वॉज चैप्टर वन एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम नंबर थर्टी सिक्स थैंक यू सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो